I know so many of you guys are wondering like, where I'm at. Hello everyone! I thought that we should catch up because it's been months. I don't even remember the last time I actually uploaded a YouTube video. As you guys can see, I'm in a different place. But hello, welcome back. I am so excited to be back. I took a big break from social media and that's pretty much it. I think taking my break off of social media was extremely beneficial to my mental health and my body image and so many other things, even spiritually. Like I feel so much better, I feel so much lighter. I know so many of you guys are wondering like where I'm at and what I'm doing, but I promise you guys, my family probably doesn't even know. Funny story, I actually went to a bowling league, like my family, like that's their thing right now. One of my cousins was like, do you even live in Minnesota anymore? Yeah, I do. He's just like, well, from like your Instagram stories, it just looks like you don't even live here anymore. I, I still live here. I just, um I don't come out. I have just been in hermit mode and I feel like it has been the best decision I have ever made. My phone, still on do not disturb. I just am a do not disturb girly. I have really young parents, but for some reason, last month, both my parents ended up in the hospital. And so I was just like, you know what? I do not need to come back 100% to social media. But it definitely gave me a reality check of how I wanna run my life and what I wanna do in my life. And I'm really, really excited to see where 2024 ends up taking me this year because I'm just very optimistic about how the year's going already. I'm a cat mom. Um, where is he? Where is my, my darling, my little prince? This is Toto and Toto is from the animal shelter. He was a kitten, he was a stray. When I got Toto, he was already in like a room to like visit or like pet them or meet them. And the girl was just like, oh, like you guys can just go in and like see the cat. And I was like, oh, okay. We went in there because I went with like a few people and I fell in love with Toto, but I just wasn't sure if I was up to the responsibility of having a cat or a pet. It's a lot more responsibility than most people make it look. Okay, why is Toto sitting like that? Okay, hang on. Why are you crying? Next thing you knew, um, Toto actually was a gift. Um, somebody gifted me him after going to see him in a shelter and it's crazy because his birthday is actually estimated to be like a day before mine so I just think it was like meant to be for sure. Back in 2022 when you guys were seeing me going to LA and doing collaborations on my YouTube channel like I was probably the most depressed I've ever been in my entire life. Now looking back at like my videos and my vlogs, I think that I was just trying to escape most of the time when I was traveling, escape from the reality that I was having back at home. And not that anything bad was happening at home, I just think that like mentally I just like wasn't there. But once I stopped traveling and actually dealt with everything here at home i was just like wow like life is really not that bad look at the state of the apartment <laughs> it is just so sad this is my nail bag literally just shove everything in it i don't actually have all my furniture moved into the apartment right now because i have like, way too many things so my vanity like my entire desk setup that i recently got last year is not even with me, so I've just been doing my makeup and everything, practically everything on this island. Oh, you're so cute. So cute. You're like a little baby. He hates me. Hey. Oh, don't sniff me. is dirty this was from yesterday it was the lazy day a do nothing day and i just need to tackle all of the dishes and the counter spaces let's let's do this together <laughs>
let's do the dishes. If you guys have really brittle fingernails, y'all need to get gloves to wash your dishes. I can wash the dishes in really, really hot water without obviously burning my hands, but it also makes your dishes dry faster. They should change the influencer content creator like title to professional emailer. I get sent like hundreds of emails a day. So recently I got an email from um, the Minnesota Timberwolves. <laughs> Minnesota Timberwolves is crazy. They invited me to an Asian American and Pacific Islander like, like event and I was like, Yo, this is actually insane. Like I've never gotten this before. Like uh, let's go, let's go watch the Timberwolves games. I know the Timberwolves have been doing really good this season, so I'm really excited to see them. But we are going to be watching them play against the Toronto Raptors. But I was just like, you know what? A lot of my family members, they love watching basketball. Why not invite my family members to go watch basketball with me? I'm nervous, but I do have the confidence that things are going to work out just because I have gone to LA so many times and have gone to so many different events like gifting suites, uh, Snapchat parties, um, like brand things, like just the most randomest things. They throw parties like I swear to God every fucking weekend. We don't like bad boys. No, 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 no. Ah. Not nice, Toto. I should be getting paid soon. 
So I am actually gonna go get my camera and I'm so excited. I haven't had a camera in a long time, but I really want my Canon G7X back. Then I'm gonna be posting Instagram pictures, TikToks, YouTube videos. Like I am so excited for the damn camera. I literally manifested making money so that I can buy my camera. And it's just been like my biggest goal for the first quarter of the year. That was one of my big three goals for the quarter. Sometimes content creation, I'm just like, what is going on? There are so many like brands who lowball you so freaking hard. It's actually like ridiculous. Like I've gotten deals where people are like, yeah, I will pay you 50 bucks to make a video promoting this to your audience. And then I also want the rights to your video so that they can be posted on ads. Keep in mind, you will be charging for literally all of those things and they'll be like 50 bucks. That is not a good rate. When you first start social media and you do not have a big platform, you can start charging 500 plus for videos. Like, just let that be that. And $500 is honestly really, really, really low. But if you're first starting and you wanna build a relationship with a brand, just know that sometimes you have to take those smaller brand deals so that you can work your way up with the company. Always reach out to people. You'd be surprised You'd be surprised of how many brand deals you can get if you just retouch on emails. You need to retouch your emails every three days. Like if there isn't a reply, you retouch twice. And if they do not reply, don't waste your time. Half of the time, so many of these brands are getting the same exact emails that you are sending out. So making sure that you retouch so it doesn't end up in spam is so important because I've gotten so many emails where like, oh my God, like your email ended up in spam, you know, da da da, da. And I'm like, okay, well, thank God I retouched. Tonight, I am literally just going to work on pitching and doing brand outreach. I try to reach out to brands, at least 10 brands a week, which is a lot because I like to make sure that my pitches are, don't like all look the same, you know? So it takes a lot more time, but I promise you chat GPT is literally gonna be your best friend. I literally use chat GPT for everything. Emailing honestly gives me so much purpose in my life, surprisingly. Like you guys are probably like, that sounds so fucking stupid, but it actually makes me feel like I'm actually working and it's not just like so like free for all for the rest of the day. Can you guys hear him? He's like, I'm ready to eat. It is time for a bed and I have to put Toto to bed. But this is Toto's bed. Good night, Toto. Good night. Look how cute. He loves his little bed.